In today's video, we're going to be looking at some of the worst logo designs that have ever been created by mankind in the history of mankind. Also, you guys can vote to decide which logo out of the list in today's video I personally redesign in the later video. But first, a word from today's sponsor. It's really great being able to show how a design looks, but it's even more impressive if they can actually experience the design itself, as well as understand how it feels and how it behaves. Learn more about Framer later in today's video. Oh yeah, just a heads up, a lot of the designs in today's video are kind of like innuendos, let's put it that way. And case in point, the first example today, you can see on screen right now. Now there is so much wrong with this logo that I don't even know where to start. I mean, the logo type is bland, not well thought out. And of course the elephant in the room is the logo symbol itself. Not only does it look cartoony with that black outlines, it's just what does it symbolize? I think we all know what it's meant to symbolize, but quite a few people would get something else in their minds when looking at this logo. Now I'm not going to redesign any logos in today's video, but I am just going to make some suggestions that might help the logo mark. And at firstly, that might be having the logo type off to the right like this, or even in the next example, having the logo type with hierarchy. Now I know this might not work due to the sentence structure. And yes, I do need to shift the logo type a tiny bit over to the left, but you get the picture. And again, remember, vote in the comment section below which logo you want me to design or redesign in today's video. So the next logo is something that's pretty close to home for me, and that is the London 2012 Olympic logo. And it's close to me, not because I designed it or worked on it, thankfully, it's because I'm from England. So this is pretty much my home or my capital city. Now this logo was absolutely scolded in the design industry and the world at large, pretty much. And this is what they came up with after all of that time, working on such a well-known and prestigious kind of logo. This is what they came up with. Because the Olympics is such a kind of action and motion energetic type of event, maybe having orange as a predominant color could help. Who knows, it's just my suggestion for this abomination of a logo. So the third logo is another innuendo. And when I see designs like this, I often wonder, Surely the designer at some point looked at the design and thought that could be misinterpreted as something else and not in a good way. I mean, I can kind of see where they were going with the K symbol, but I don't know, it's too suggestive in my opinion. And again, this isn't a logo redesign. I've just cleaned up the logo type because that was also really quite bad. It was too rounded and too playful. So I've gone ahead and made a kind of really wide kerning solution and then a kind of tightly packed kerning main logo type. But yeah, if you want me to redesign this logo, remember to vote for this one in the comment section below. The next one is quite a notorious one and that is Hilton Worldwide. And this logo is quite bad for a variety of different reasons. And you know guys, I hate emboss or kind of gradients on logo designs. And if you look closely, this logo symbol does include both of those in one design. But my main issue here was pretty much the layout. I don't see why the logo mark is kind of peeking above the top of the logo type like that. It doesn't make sense and it's just disjointed and a bad design choice in my opinion. If they were going to run with this kind of layout, I think they should at least try and get the symbol on the left in a kind of line with the logo type like this. But yeah, this is predominantly seen as one of the worst logo designs online and within the graphic design industry. And next up, we have another suggestive logo tragedy, and that is the A style. And I swear this could actually come across as a kind of a joke. I mean, A style and with that, again, I have no idea what the designer was thinking about. And if they ever took a step back and just kind of looked at what they were making and how it could be seen or perceived by other people. It's really quite mind boggling actually. But if they did want to run with an enclosed logo, I think a circular kind of orange or yellow shape here could work really well. And then just having that symbol laid over the top, it just makes things look more simple and more visually appealing, even though that symbol does need to be completely scrapped and taken out of there. But again, if you want to see me redesign this one, vote for this in the comment section below. And the final design today is once again, another suggestive kind of design. And I'm not sure what she's baking, but yeah, this logo is pretty interesting. Let's put it that way. 
At least for this design, they managed to work some hierarchy into the logo type. But for me, that's pretty much where this ends in terms of the good things. Actually, that being said, I do like how simple the design is. Apart from the, the flames, I think that detracts away from the simplicity. And I know what they were going for here with the kind of the oven, but it does look like something else completely if you use your mind. So those are some of the worst logo designs out there ever created by mankind, ever. Which one do you think is the worst? And which one do you want to see me redesign in a completely different video? So interactive prototyping is the best way to communicate your app or your website's idea. The sponsor of today's video, Framer, is a no-code, free-to-use tool, making it easy for anyone to become a prototyper. You can insert pre-built interactive components in seconds, sliders that actually slide, and inputs that can be filled, as well as buttons that can actually be clicked. Or of course, you can create your own, complete with every state and variation you need. And that's all completely code-free, thanks to the new Smart Components release. Sign up to Framer today at framer.com forward slash satori. And that link is going to be down in the description box below. And if you want to see more content, just click a video on screen. Until next time, design your future today. Peace.